This is Jason with Context Found with a quick use case study on using ChatGPT to download some images. I came across this interesting use case trying to download some pictures from an auction. It has all these detailed photos, which are great. You can look through the items, you can zoom in, you can go through their library. But if I go to the big picture, right click, nothing happens. Yeah, I can zoom, but I want to download these guys. If I go to the thumbnails, I can open the image in a new tab, but it's coming in as the small thumbnail. My goal here is to download all of these images to a local folder so I can flip through them and zoom in and have them for reference. The first thing I tried as Elite Hacksaw is to view the page source. At first I searched for PNGs, but these are high-tech JPEGs. In my searching, I came across this line, which seems to have all of the image files. And if I click on this one, it's still in the thumbnail, which doesn't do any good for me. What I did figure out is looking at examples of the big images, which I could dig into in the code as well, is that this part of the URL, this underscore S, means small, and that there is an XL version of it. And there we go. There's the high quality image that I'm looking for. But with this number of images, I didn't want to have to dig into that manually and download them and rename them. So it was time to turn to my buddy ChatGPT. I started by selecting all of the HTML that contained absolutely everything before heading over and crafting this prompt. I asked it, can you reference the images in the following HTML, download each image, rename it to auction underscore number here, and zip it into a single file for download. Then I just paste in all that HTML and let it rip. There is a lot of code here. What it comes back with is, I'm sorry I'm not able to directly download and manipulate images, and gives me manual steps. The interesting thing here is the first time I ran it, it actually built the script to do this, but then came back after thinking and said, I'm not allowed to run this locally, but here's your script. So I'll just ask it for the script, please. So it kindly came back with this Python script, and I'm realizing that it's still fulfilling the request of zipping the files for me. But if I'm running this locally and then downloading the files, I don't need it to zip it together. So just like when I originally did this process, I'm just going to refine my request. So I give it my modified request, and it even gives a few tips on how to run this locally. Of course, if you don't have Python installed or if you have any questions about the process, it can give you as detailed instructions as you need to get it set up. As for me, I'm going to grab the code and save this as downloadphotos.py for Python. Right here I can see that it's looking for all the URLs for the images, and that's part of the instructions as well from ChatGPT. So let me ask it to pull that from the original HTML that I uploaded. So I ask it to please create a list of URLs for the images that I can copy into the script, and it's cooking away getting all of those for me. Now it did stop generating because this is a unnatural amount of images on this page, but I'll continue generating and it keeps on moving. So you see this is actually practical for a fair bit of data processing. Sharing another lesson learned, originally I had requested just give me a list of the URLs and it did so, but it did not have the quotes or the comma that allowed me to copy it directly into the script. And that's why this time around I knew to ask that I can copy into the script. So there was definitely some conversational back and forth, but it was well worth saving time of manually downloading all of these images. And also, I'll be much more efficient at it in the future. So I'll save my changes to the script, I'll pop into my terminal and run the script. Alternatively, I could fire this up with a right click open with Python, which is quick and easy. It asked me for a name for the folder as I requested, and that'll run for a few seconds. And that actually took over 30 seconds probably, but it does give me the success message that the images were downloaded to the folder auction photos. If we go there, see what's in it. Excellent, we have 64 different images that were downloaded from it. Let's go check. And sure enough, here in the auction photos folder, we have our prefix as requested auction underscore number of photo all the way down to 64. And now we have high quality versions of the photos downloaded to our local computer, despite them really fighting hard for us not to get them easily. 
And that is the cool way that I made life a little bit more efficient today using ChatGPT. Going from a problem or an annoyance I had, having conversation with GPT, and getting a real outcome for my efforts. So I encourage you to experiment with what GPT can help you automate potentially. And it may actually end up surprising you. As I said, the first time I ran this, it, it created the file and went out and read the internet and almost downloaded it before saying that it was not able to download files directly. This particular solution was actually pretty handy. Let me do something real quick. Explore, create a GPT. As a matter of fact, bam, I created a GPT that will do this whole process for you. You input some HTML and the GPT will start generating links to images, which are clickable, which is nice unto itself. And more importantly, outputs the script that you can run locally to download them, just like I did. Looking at the configuration on this GPT, it is simply a prompt in the instruction set. I tried uploading a example script to the knowledge base, but that was actually counterproductive in my testing. The link to this publicly available GPT is in the description. Please mention in the comments if you have any actual practical use cases like this that have helped you out, or if this has helped you specifically download some images that they tried to keep from you. Not today, buddy. Until next time, happy chatting.